What's up everybody? Welcome back. This is Forgo and there's a few things I want to talk about today. The first thing I want to mention is we are recruiting guild members. Uh, we actually need five guild members. So if you're interested in joining this guild, all I ever ask for everybody is just to participate in guild raid. Just do the best you can. Obviously the higher the score, the better. But if you are interested in joining this guild, please contact me in Discord. The link will be in the description below. The second thing I want to mention is the Reviving Hell's Dungeon. Here in RHD, I'm actually at tier 49. I'm at the last stage. And this is the team that I'm using. But I can tell you guys right now that there's no way they can do it. There's no way. You're supposed to have green defensive fighters all at above tier uh, Awaken level 49. These are all Awaken level 50. And it still isn't enough. They are not getting it done i in fact i have about 20 bars left over from this boss which means i'm probably going to have to level up another fest character which is going to be elizabeth who is a green defensive fighter because if i put imprint stones on these characters that would definitely help that would make them a lot stronger however the problem is i don't use any of these characters for pve and i don't like putting imprint stones on characters that i don't use uh, for PvE. If I'm not going to use them in PvE, then I don't want to put imprint stones on them. I mean, obviously, if you love the character and you want to slap all that on, go for it. I mean, really, the only character that I would really think about doing it is Iori, because Iori is actually pretty decent. And I do have one maxed out stone already on him. But I definitely wouldn't want to do it for Ash. He just doesn't prove to be very useful in many game modes at all. And Amakusa, really, I just leveled him up for the... R RHD, which is unfortunate because I put all them resources in him and he didn't get it done. And that's really why I wanted to talk about this. I just wanted to let you all know that in past videos, I told you that you could use certain gold borders and things like that to where you could get it done in RHD. And you can for the most part. You definitely can early on. But boy, you know, at tier 49, it, it's pretty obvious to me that it's not going to happen. Uh, they just can't get it done. Matter of fact, if we jump in here right now... There's no imprint stones on any of the other characters. Uh, the only character that has caps on is uh, Ash here. And I'll show you guys how close they are. If we can get a decent run, we'll see. Okay. And we'll switch to Yori. Okay. We'll back away, we'll wait for them to stand up, we'll use this skill here, come on. Alright, here we go. That guy's over there on the other side, which is not good. All right, here we go. Let's go. I'm just kind of concentrating. That's why I'm not really saying a whole lot, trying to get this done. But you guys are going to see that we just, we're just we just not going to have the damage, which really sucks. Hukua! I mean, Iori's got some power. I wish that damn bleed explosion worked in uh, PvE. It sucks it doesn't. It only works in PvP, which sucks. I just said sucks twice, didn't I? Okay. I'm going to go ahead and use my 5PG. Because Amakusa can die pretty quick. This is a damn cool skill. There we go, come on. And I do have a PG card on Amakusa uh, to really help his survivability. Come on, come on, come on, come on. 
Oh, I don't think so. I don't think so. One thing about Iori is you always have that super armor on that third skill. It just makes him so easy to play. Once that super armor wears off for Ash, eh, not the greatest. I mean, he's got the heals, which is nice. Come on, come on, come on. Here we go. And I really prefer to use Iori's default. Come on. Let's go. <laughs> that second skill just shoots him up in the air. But you can see that damn thing isn't uh, really doing the best damage. And you want to stand from a distance when you use Amakusa if you do use this guy. Because if you don't, a lot of times the skill will miss. And we were trying to keep old girl in the air. And you see there, we just ran out of time. I mean, maybe with some uh, practice we could do this, but yeah, I mean, this is what I'm talking about. It's just not the best run, but you can see we had 18 bars left to go. We didn't have much time on Iori. It's just, I mean, I'm probably going to have to level up another Fest character to be able to do this, which... I mean, that really sucks. That is a, a real bum deal, but it is what it is. It really isn't a big, massive deal because, I mean, from tier 49 to tier 40, you're going to get some extra experience bottles, but it's fine. In all honesty, once you get to this point and your characters are pretty much going to be leveled up for the most part. I mean, if you're at tier 49, I'm willing to bet a lot of your characters are already leveled up similar to my account and you're really probably not going to worry about it too much but man really really tough the next thing i want to talk about is this bug that's actually in the team relay challenge immortal typhon so evidently there's a bug in here where if you can freeze immortal typhon uh, either right before or during athena's 3pg he'll be consistently stunned now i tried this a bunch of times I tried this over and over. Uh, shout out to Snow, who actually put out a video showing them how to do this and get it done. But I've replicated this about 20 million times. Well, I'm exaggerating, but uh, quite a few times. And I couldn't get it done. We'll try it right now to see if we can do this. But it just, it wasn't happening for me. But I wanted to bring this up for a lot of you out there in case maybe you wanted to try this. But you want to freeze this guy before you do Athena's 3PG. So... We're just going to start with Athena. We're going to run through her skills. We're just going to keep running through her skills. Come on, come on, come on. And what we're hoping for is Nameless to start doing his 3 PG. And that'll be the time that I can switch to Hodoru because she actually has a two second freeze on her first skill. Okay. So he's frozen, right? I just hit the freeze. I hit the freeze again. There we go. And what we should be seeing here is this guy should be frozen. And yeah, I mean, it looks like it looks like he's frozen. Okay, so there he got unfrozen a little bit. I think it might be um, a little bit inconsistent. I don't know if he stays frozen the whole time. That might have been just the freeze from Hodoru. Just that little bit of freeze that she has. But I wanted to just show this to all of you. I mean, even though I didn't pull it off, I just wanted to explain uh, this bug. You just want to either freeze before Athena does her 3PG or right as she goes into it. I've tried it all kinds of different ways. And it never worked for me. But again, I just wanted to bring it up to those of you out there that want to give it a shot. I mean, if you're 
close to getting the max score and you're using Hodoru. I mean, I mean, even Kula can do the, the freeze. It does happen it's by chance. Whereas with Hodoru, it's actually on her second skill. Or I'm sorry, her first skill. It's a guarantee. See, that's the difference. Whereas Kula's isn't. But I wanted to bring it to all of your attention just in case you wanted to try this. Uh, to see if you can get it done and if you can expose this bug. Because if you can, then... You're going to be able to get the score a lot easier. You know, players like myself that can already max out the score, it's not really a big deal. And I'm, gonna, I'm not going to put a whole lot of effort into trying to pull it off. And I'm actually on lunch break, so I don't have a whole lot of time to try it. But hopefully it can help some of you out out there. And, and you should check out Snow's video on it to see how she did it. So as always, let me know what characters you've gotten, what cards you've gotten. And I stream on Twitch at 9 a.m. GMT plus 7 time. Monday through Thursday. The link will be in the description below. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Y'all take care and have a good one.